Welcome back. She is the author of Unjunk Your Junk Food. She's also the founder of NaturallySavvy.com. Please welcome Andrea Donsky. She is our expert today. Hello. Hello. You are going to help us figure out the type yep. of breakfast that really will get our, our brains going, kind of brain-boosting right. breakfast. Right. So now that we're all back to school, back to work, and we're kind of getting into the groove of things, I know, boo. But we're getting more <laughs> tired, so we're feeling kind of sluggish. That's right. So it's really important when we wake up to have within an hour of waking up mm -hmm. protein because what protein does is it helps to wake up our brains and it also helps to prevent us from reaching for sugars throughout the day it helps to balance our blood sugar okay so it's really really important that within that hour of waking that we put protein into our bodies so it's just important within the hour just to go ahead and get it working yeah get wake it up our brains and so it just sets the standard for the whole day okay now this is um when it comes to brain boosting breakfast this would be for kids and adults across the board across the board exactly for all of us and some good options to do would be you know if you're looking to start off your day with some type of animal protein mm -hmm. you can go for you know classic sausages or even if you want to throw some turkey applegate makes a line of organic and natural meat again there's no hormones and antibiotics which is what we really want to look for so you could throw them into omelets you can really make do anything you want to do with it if you're not into animal protein you could reach for something like tofu okay organic tofu so anything that has protein in it is really key to waking up our brains gotcha and then what about when it comes to whole grains I have a little boy who loves oatmeal but he likes the kind with a whole lot of sugar in it that doesn't really taste like oatmeal right so I mean there's the instant oatmeal which mm -hmm. has a little bit more sugar mm -hmm. than the regular oatmeal. so you can do it the steel cut oatmeal from scratch and then add in a little bit of you know brown sugar or something if you want it. it that way you can control it and then there's also let's say for example instant oatmeal from nature's path so their oatmeal has anywhere between four and six grams of protein per packet but also what's great about it is that it's organic again so it has no none of the pesticides and fertilizers and you can also go for something when it talk when you're talking about whole grains fiber in bread right so the key is also you also want to get your fiber in 25 to 35 grams of fiber a day really really crucial so Rudy's what they have is an organic they have a bread that is with seeds and each mm -hmm. slice has four grams of protein wow that's a lot for bread a lot for bread so it's a really great option mm -hmm. to okay. wake ourselves up and then again nature's path came out with a cereal not too long ago called kia it's made from chia buckwheat and hemp oh. and if you see here right here you can look at the beautiful look at the grains i gotta say it looks a little bit like bird seed it does look like bird seed and you know what the bird seed <coughs> is what it's looking is the buckwheat but also the chia seeds the chia seeds are very high right. in omegas now if you smell this it smells amazing Oh, it does. It smells delicious. Almost like potpourri. And two tablespoons of this, get this, two tablespoons of that have four grams of fiber. Now, wh would you eat it plain? I'm assuming it'd be a little dry. Well, no, so what you, you do, put it in? So you, add, you would add any type of milk to it. So okay. if you drink regular like cow's milk, yeah, exactly, like cereal. Or what okay. you could do is put it on, sprinkle it on yogurt. Oh, that was going to be my next suggestion. Yeah, you so you can sprinkle it on yogurt. So it makes for a really great okay. uh, breakfast, something, again, to wake up your brains. Very smart. All right, omega-3 is really, really important for developing brains. This is also, again, for adults, but for kids, too. And what's great about Barleen swirls, omega-3 swirls, it's fish oil. And fish oil has something called DHA and EPA. Mm -hmm. And both of those are the, the primary ingredients, what they do. They're active ingredients, which help to give fish oil their benefits. So gotcha. again, you can add it into smoothies in the morning. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. my kids literally take it and just drink it. I was going to say, I if it's going to boost my brain and get it moving, I would do that too. And they come in delicious flavors. This is a mango peach, but they have coconut. They have so many different flavors, and they don't taste like fish oil. So that's, that's a great thing. That's key. Okay, and then you have a couple more that you wanted to get to Right, here. so this is the Barleen's Chocolate Silk Greens. Again, they also come in a strawberry. This would be a great alternative to something like Nesquik. Gotcha. So Nesquik has some of those scary seven ingredients we'd want to avoid, like artificial flavors or even artificial sweeteners mm. in them. So again, this is superfoods, antioxidants, and they're made with, not with sugar, but with stevia. So Got there's it. no sugar in it. Oh, I love stevia. And finally, juices. They could be really, really bad for you. They can have high fructose corn yeah. syrup, again, artificial sweeteners. So Uncle Matt's makes an organic juice. They have orange juice. They have lemonade. And they're amazing because they are organic and, again, grown without those pesticides or anything that's going to come into the food that we don't want to eat. Breakfast is served. Thank <laughs> you so much, served. Andrew. And where can we get your book, Unjunk Your Junk Food? You can find it on Amazon. Beautiful. So simple. Okay, well, bon appetit.